So in this example, f of x is the square root of uh, x plus 3. Let's do a couple of things here. Part A, let's find the linearization of f of x near x equals 1. Part B, uh, use the uh, linearization to approximate the following values. We'll approximate the square root of uh, 4.05 and the square root of 3.98. So for the first part, I see that I need the following component. I need, I need to evaluate the function at A, and I need to evaluate the derivative of A, and A, in this case, is 1. Okay. So what is f prime of x? Well, it's the derivative of the square root of x plus 3, and you can write it as d dx of x plus 3 to the power of 1 half. Actually, you should remember that the derivative of the square root is 1 over 2 times the square root. Okay? And you can see why. I'm doing it because we have a test tomorrow, so this would be a little refresher. So it would be 1 half times x plus 3 to the power of 1 half minus 1, or negative 1 half, or if you go back to radical notation, you end up having, um, by the way, about what about the chain rule? <clears throat> the cha chain rule is derivative of x plus 3. Well, the derivative of x plus 3 is 1. So <clears throat> that's why I didn't write it. But we end up having 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 3. This is something that you should remember, rather than re redo it every time, the derivative of a square root of a function is 1 times, uh, 1 divided by 2 times the square root. All right, so now we need to evaluate uh, this one at 1, so f prime at 1 would be 1 over 2 times 1 plus 3, and this will be simply 1 fourth. Also, we need f of 1, so f of 1 would be square root of 1 plus 3, well, that would be 2. And now I'm ready. Again, I'm plugging in into uh, this expression right here, and I see that L of x will be f prime of 1, well, let me spell it out, f prime of 1 times x minus 1, plus f of 1, the point slope formula. So, <clears throat> so L of x equals f prime is 1 fourth times x minus 1 plus f of 1 is 2. So we have 1 fourth uh, x minus one-fourth plus two. Two is eight over four, so we end up having uh, one-fourth x plus seven-fourth, or we can put it in our common denominator, and we'll end up having x plus seven over four. So this is the result of the linearization. Um, just to make sure that we understand what it means, it means that uh, near x equals 1, near x equals 1, the square root of x plus 3 can be substituted 
by x plus 7 over 4. And that's why uh, we like to do linear approximation because as it is not that easy to calculate without a calculator the square root of x plus 3, it's really easy to calculate without a calculator x plus 7 over 4. That's simple addition and division. And the part B demonstrate this uh, uh, advantage. For instance, I want to first calculate or approximate 4.05. Now, I'll, I'll need to express it in terms of the square root of x plus 3. So, I see that the difference between 405 and 3 is 105, so I can break it down as 1.05 plus 3 Right? And I compare these two, and I say, okay, in this case, my x will is 1.05. Okay? So I establish that this is my x, and I'm looking at the approximation right here. And I see that the if I want to estimate or approximate the square root of 4.05, all I need is to calculate x plus 7 over 4, 1.05 plus 7 over 4. And I don't need a calculator for that, and hopefully you don't need that either, because 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then you have 0, 5 divided by 4 is 1, uh, a, remem a reminder of 2, so 20... <coughs> uh, What do we have here? 2.0, 10 is, is 2, and we have a uh, remainder uh, of 20. So I'm blabbing, but this is the, the result. Now you want to compare it with the calculation, OK? Uh, if you put in the calculator, what do you get? Go ahead and put in the calculator. Tell me what you have. What after that? 2.0124, oh, let's stop right there. So we are off only at the fourth decimal. And this is, remember, this is just the linear approximation. This is the, uh, the core, a coarse approximation. If we want to refine it, then we have a more powerful tool that you learn, uh, not in this course. You can do a quadratic approximation or second order approximation or higher order approximation. In Calc 3, you're going to learn something called Taylor uh, series or Taylor approximation or Taylor McLaurin approximation, which is even more powerful and uh, an approximation that minimizes the error. But this is a decent approximation. You're going to see that if we evaluate uh, 3.98, the error will be even smaller because. 3.98 is closer to 4, or x in this case. If I write it as x plus 3, then 3.98 is 0 0.98 plus 3. And therefore, in this case, I'll use x equals 0 0.98. Okay? And 0 0.98 is closer to 1 than 1.05. Remember, at 1, they are precisely. Okay, if you look here, when x equals 1, you have the square root of 4, which is 2, and the linearization would be 1 plus 7 over 4, which is exactly 2. So at 1, there are, we don't have to have the wiggle uh, equal sign. It's exactly. So 0 0.98 is closer to 1, and therefore uh, we're going to approximate the square root of 3.98. So it would be 0 0.98 plus 7 
over 4 or 7.98 over 4 and this would be 1 and uh, 39 by 4 is 9 the remainder of 3, 38 by 4 is 9 the remainder of 2 so it would be 1.995 again if you calculate it on a calculator uh, then um, so three point the square root of three point ninety eight equals to very very close. Remember, even with the calculator, it's an approximation because the calculator will round it. I think the calculator gives you ten decimal digits, so it's still rounded to the tenth decimal place. Place. So you can see that it's even better approximation than before. So what we're going to do next, in the next example, we're going to see, uh, we're going to find out how we can control the error. In other words, if you want to calculate, uh, the question is, I know that I'm exactly, uh, the uh, linearization give me exact result that x equals 1. My question is how far from 1 I can go and still get good approximation within certain acceptable errors. For instance, if I allow an error of 0 0.1 on the approximation, then how far from x equal 1, I still can use the linearization. And that will be the next example.